Well, the people that run our local animal shelters are some of the most selfless in our community. Always go, going above and beyond for our four-legged friends in need. Yes, anytime, weekends, nights, days, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Right. And in Boyd County, a woman has been running a rehabilitation home for cats on her own time and mostly with her own money, too. WSAZ's Lisa Feinstein introduces us to this week's cat-saving hometown hero. These little guys and gals look happy as can be. Very different from how they were found a few days ago. They were all just abandoned at the side of the road in a box. These kittens have new chances at life because Kayla Akers dedicates most, if not all, of her free time to saving cats and to rehabilitating feral cats. We go in with traps and we trap mom. Um, we have her spayed and then um, two to three days after her spay, we bring her back and we release her. Um, and then the kittens will um, go into foster homes where they'll receive the medicine, their vaccines, then until they are um, old enough to where they will receive their spay and neuter. And then we take them up to PetSmart and have them adopted. When homeless cats roam in the community without being spayed and neutered, they can have multiple litters. With no one to care for the litters, it adds to a growing population of animals in need. It's a really big problem. I usually get anywhere from 10 to 20 messages a day asking for assistance. Akers is a wife, a mom, and a full-time student studying to become a veterinarian. And for the last two years, she's been the solo act behind Acres Halfway House for Kittens. And she doesn't get paid to do any of it. While the kids are at school, I'm caring for the cats or I'm out in the community. Um, I have feral colonies that I drop food off to in the morning. I have a few foster homes, um, but for the most part, it's just me. It's seeing that there needs to be a difference and I want to help be that difference. I want to be the difference in these kittens' lives. We had a few people reach out to us about mm -hmm. all of the work that you do to help these animals and help give them a better life. So you have been nominated as this week's WSAZ hometown hero. Oh my goodness. It feels like I've, I have a purpose. You know, I'm beyond being the house mom with three kids. You know, I'm, I'm doing something that's beyond myself. Um, and I've met some amazing, wonderful people along the way. People and, of course, a lot of cats. It's hard not to get attached, but it's, it's amazing to know that you took this itty bitty little thing that had no life, had no future, and you got it to the other side of it, and now it's going to find a home. Lisa Feinstein, WSAZ, Boyd County. Oh my gosh, they are so The video at the end was cute. great. And Kayla has a Facebook page and a website where she keeps the community updated on cats that she's helping. So if you'd like to donate to her shelter or help her with fostering, I'm sure she'd love the mm -hmm. help. And we have a link for you over on WSAZ.com. I bet people see this at home, and I don't I don't think it'll be long oh. before those kittens have homes. Oh, right? I know. <laughs> They're so cute. And she did go on to say that she is going to be using that food fair gift card on cat food, Aww. which is wonderful. So if you would like to nominate someone like this to be our hometown hero, just send a letter to the address that you're seeing right now on your screen. Send us an email, news at WSAZ.com. There are lots of ways, and you can also find this story and more of our hometown heroes on WSAZ.com. Just click on that hometown hero link.